Remember when LinkedIn used to point blank tell you what people's email addresses were? Those were the days. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan Grant and I'm your best freelancing friend here to help you grow your business. Not all that long ago, LinkedIn allowed you to export your contacts email addresses. And this was a really nice feature because we freelancers could then use that contact information to cold email our leads and try to pitch our freelancing services. And then LinkedIn took that feature away. These days, there are tools that you can use to try to find or guess people's email addresses. So in this video, we're going to talk about what some of those tools are, how they work, and whether or not it's really worth your time uh, relying on them. Now, from my experience, LinkedIn email finder tools generally work one of two ways. The first way is that the tool basically scans the person's LinkedIn profile, trying to find if there are any email addresses hidden on that page. So that could mean that it returns their current work email address, or it could give you an email address from a previous employer or even their personal email address, which we definitely don't want. Never email your leads at their personal email address. This is a big no-no. Sometimes these tools get it right, and sometimes they come up with no results. Other times, the second way these tools work is they basically guess what the email address is. Uh, that's how hunter.io works, and I actually have a video on that tool specifically. Basically what you do is you give the tool that company's URL, so www.whatever.com. Then the tool kind of scans the internet to collect as many email addresses as it possibly can with that domain name. So it's going to give you the results, not just for the person that you're looking for, but for all of the email addresses that it found that match that website. And what you want to pay attention to here is the format of the email addresses. So is it first name dot last name at company name dot com? Is it first initial last name at company name dot com? That's what I mean by format. If you can determine the format, then you can just plug in the information for the specific person that you're trying to reach. And there you are, you have their email address. Okay, so those are the two main ways that I've seen these email finder tools work. And hunter.io is just one option. There are tons of these tools and more are coming out all the time. Um, I've tried Rocket Reach in the past. There's also one called finder.io. You've got lots of options. Now, some of these are their own isolated tools. So you have to go to their website in order to use them. Others have a browser extension so that you can use them when you are on somebody's LinkedIn profile and you're trying to determine their email address. So you're on their profile, you click on the extension in your browser and that extension will try to figure out what the address is. If you wanna test out different tools to see which one really catches your attention, just go into Google and type email finder tools. Lots to play around with, but should you? Are these tools reliable? Are they safe? Meh. There are a few things I wanna point out here that I feel are important. First, are these tools accurate? You don't really know until you try them. Um, I used to use email finder tools on LinkedIn a lot more and I stopped. Too often, they either can't find the email address or they give me the wrong email address. So let's say at best, it does give you an email address. You send the cold email and just hope that it gets to the right person, but very often, the email would bounce back. So then I would have to try another email. If you're going to try one of these tools, you have to be prepared to have to send multiple emails because the odds of getting the correct address on the first attempt aren't always in your favor. If that doesn't bother you, then great. Uh, personally, I wanted a process that was more efficient and involved less guessing and less trial and error. So that's why I gravitated away from these tools. Second, we do need to talk about the safety and security of email finder tools. The best piece of advice I can give you is to never use any tools that require you to log in with your LinkedIn credentials, meaning your username and password, so that you can connect LinkedIn to the tool. I talk about this in this video on LinkedIn automation. LinkedIn, like most of the networking platforms, has very strict rules around giving third-party tools and software access to your LinkedIn profile. This means that you cannot use tools to automate tasks like sending direct messages, sending invites, leaving comments on people's posts, and scraping data like email addresses also falls under that heading. These rules are baked right into their terms and conditions, which you agreed to when you created a profile. So if you stumble upon a LinkedIn email finder tool and it's telling you that in order to use it, you have to connect it to your LinkedIn account, I would run in the opposite direction. 
LinkedIn very easily spots this behavior. You are not going to pull a fast one on them. Once you connect those two accounts, that's it. They're gonna give you a friendly warning, then they're going to temporarily lock you out of your account, and then you're, they're going to ban your account completely. Now, if the tool that you're considering doesn't require you to log in with LinkedIn and doesn't gain access to your profile, and it's just a Chrome extension that either guesses what the email address is or scans the already available information on someone's profile to see if there's an email address in there, then you're probably okay. Uh, there's still no guarantees about accuracy, but in terms of safety and security, you should be fine. Like I mentioned earlier, I used to use these tools a lot more back when my main method for landing clients was cold emailing. You have to have a way to find people's email addresses, so that's where these tools come in. But then I started using LinkedIn to connect with my leads, and I would just strike up a conversation with them in the direct message, and I would get their email address that way by asking. <laughs> Who would have thought? And it worked pretty well. Still, even when I transitioned to the process that I use now with LinkedIn, I did revisit these email finder tools to compare the results that those gave me with the results that I get from LinkedIn in terms of ultimately closing more deals. And honestly, the LinkedIn email finder tools or email finder tools in general really didn't make a difference. Well, they did make a difference. They slowed my growth. The best results that I've gotten by far have come from messaging my leads on LinkedIn directly, telling them about you know, who I am, I'm a writer, and saying, is this something you'd be interested in talking about more? And then I ask them for their email address. Does it take longer? Yes. Is it more manual? Yes. Are the results way better? Also, yes. Other people talking about this on LinkedIn are going to kind of lure you in with the promise of saving tons of time by using email finder tools. Can they work? Can they help? Yes but in my experience, they were not even close to reliable. And these days I treat these tools as an absolute last resort. So for those reasons, I would caution you against uh, relying on them too much. Nothing, 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 nothing beats connecting with another human being, having a conversation and saying, hey, can we move this to email? With the internet today, there are so many tools out there that promise to save us time without hampering results. And do those tools exist? Sure, but in terms of uh, you know being able to connect with leads as a freelancer, I can tell you that out of everything I've tested today, there is nothing that replaces relationships and conversations. There are no shortcuts to that. That's why the approach that I've been using for the last several years to land clients works so well. Um, my students and I, we are doing something that a lot of other freelancers aren't. We are slowing down. And while we know that landing clients is partly a numbers game, we never sacrifice quality for quantity. We never sacrifice the quality of our uh, relationships and conversations. And that's why we're so good at landing clients. When it comes to using these tools or tools like this, I also encourage you to look at not just the logistics of your business, but how running your business makes you feel. And I know that sounds really flowery, so bear with me on this. Let's say you decide, okay, I'm gonna go all in with these email finder tools and I'm gonna switch to cold emailing and I'm gonna hit it hard. You could, and uh, you're gonna spend a good chunk of your time sending multiple emails to the same person, and most of them are going to bounce back or disappear into the black hole of the interwebs, wherever emails go when they have an invalid address. I've been there, and personally, that experience for me felt exhausting and um, kind of cheap, like superficial. It didn't feel good. I didn't want to spend all my time churning out emails and, and using these tools trying to find the right addresses. I wanted to spend my time meeting people and connecting with people and having fun conversations. And as an added bonus, the latter approach ended up working better. I'm not saying cold emailing is bad. That's how I landed my first few clients as a freelancer, but I was doing it in a very manual way. I never scaled it to that point where I was sending out thousands of cold emails a week from 10 different email addresses. Some people do that. Personally, it's not my style. I don't enjoy it. LinkedIn allows you to pull back on quality, focus a little more on quantity, and the results are so good. It feels more genuine and authentic, and 
It's just the cherry on top that this approach has landed me more clients than cold emailing ever did. It's a win-win. If you're interested in learning more about my approach, then I'm leaving the link in the description below to my program, Revenue Spark. Um, if you think you might be interested in joining my community, then the next step is to book a call and speak with me, and we'll see if we're a good fit for each other. And I would love it if you would join my email list. Um, I promise never to spam you. I just like to reach out every now and then when I have something special to say, or sometimes I just like to say hello and see how you're doing. That link is also below. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. I am pretty good about responding. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up to support my channel. I would really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe so you never miss any new content. I'll see you next time.